we were pressured to ask INEC to cancel 2023 presidential election. General Abdul Salami speaks. The National Peace Committee, NPC, has revealed details of behind-the-scenes maneuvers by partisans and other unnamed elements during the 2023 presidential election, disclosing that it came under immense pressure to persuade the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to either halt the collation of result or cancel the election entirely. The MPC, led by the former head of state, General Abdul Salami Abubakar, made these revelations on Friday in Abuja during the public presentation of its 106-page report on the 2023 general election titled Nigeria's Pursuit of Electoral Compliance. National Peace Committee, NPC 2023, General Elections Report. General Abubakar highlighted the immense pressure exerted on the committee during the election process as partisan forces sought to influence the election outcome through various means. According to him, the report provides an in-depth analysis of the challenges faced during the election and recommendations for improving future electoral processes in Nigeria. Before the public presentation of the report, the NPC had earlier met with INEC Chairman Prof. Mahmoud Yakubu and other senior management staff of the Commission. During the meeting, they were briefed on INEC preparations for the upcoming governorship elections in Edo and Ondo State. Other members of the committee are Oko Ebitu Ukwe, Vice Chairman, Bishop Matthew Hazan Kuka Kovina, Sultan of Sokoto Mohammed Said Abubakar III, John Cardinal Onayekon, business icon Aliko Dangote and Femi Otedola, Vanguard newspapers publisher Sam Amuka Pemu, Ameze Gudobi Gubadia, Irayat Hazan, Dem Priscilla Kuye, General Martin Luther Agwai, Mahmoud Yali, Mahmoud Yayali Ahmed, Channels TV owner John Momo, Rosalind Ukeje and Father Atta Bakindo, its head of secretariat. The report reads, As the election day progressed, criticisms and counter-criticisms became abundant. The MPC was already being faced with a flurry of phone calls and the need to call INEC to order. The Peace Committee was flooded with requests for the intervention. Both the chairman of the committee, General Abdul Salami A. Abubakar, the convener, Bishop Matthew Hazan Kuka and the head of MPC Secretariat, Farah Atta Bakindo, were in undated with calls, requests and petitions demanding the intervention of the NPC. Some of the requests wanted the NPC to prevail on an act to stop collating election results because there were gross violations and lack of compliance with the Electoral Act. Others demanded that the tenants of the peace accord signed were not adhered to and therefore the committee should call for the cancellation of the election entirely. The most significant call was related to the 25 percent thresholds for Abuja as the Federal Capital Territory. Some of the analysts who reached out to the committee asked that the final election result should not be announced because the resumptive president-elect did not score the required 25 percent as stated in the Electoral Act. If anything, there should be a runoff. For example, the Center for Reform and Public Advocacy described the silence of the National Peace Committee, NPC, as deafening in spite of the avalanche of election petitions and likely far-reaching outcomes that could follow the decisions. The Center stated that the NPC, led by General Abdul Salami Abubakar, retired, had prior to the 2023 election engaged political leaders on the need for a peaceful and credible election. However, what was missing was a post-election formal statement of the NPC on the outcome of the election and the sort of intervention needed to prevent widespread violence. The biggest bone of contention was the significance of the 25% threshold for the FCT, the vacuum created by pre-election legal interpretation that was not given by INEC. 
Within the general contest of a mandate of the Peace Committee, there were requests that demanded the committee to go beyond its mandate and to interfere in an electoral process that only agencies empowered by law can do so. The interventions provided by the NPC is purely and squally moral, particularly in a contest that trust deficit is widespread, the culture of impunity and lack of compliance with laws. The mandate is founded on the need to promote peace, prevent widespread violence, and encourage parties and candidates to uphold the rule of law. The NPC has no mandate to arrest violators of process or interfere with the constitutional duties of INEC. It is set up to provide moral intervention, defined by mediation and moral fixation, to ensure that there is peace. It is also expected to, on behalf of public interest, speak truth to power when things are going terribly wrong. After the presidential elections, the NPC has continued with its engagement with political parties, youth and women, youth and women-led groups, persons with disabilities, the security agencies, traditional rulers and religious leaders, including the independent state-based peace architectures. Most people are not aware that the NPC provides only a moral intervention and it has no constitutional duty to arrest, punish or prosecute any citizen for any wrongdoing. Rather, the committee has the moral obligation to encourage, persuade and appeal to political actors, community leaders and stakeholders on the importance of peace. This limited awareness has forced some Nigerians to question the significance of engaging with the MPC if only what the committee brings to the table is moral persuasion. This is a challenge for the work of the committee. Well, uh, I was going to ask <laughs> all this question. I mean, all this thing you're saying, what was it for until I came to the last? So I think all this piece of information is to let you know that the National Peace Committee cannot do anything apart from, you know, giving moral support. I think that is the reason. But because everything you are saying now, okay, you don't go, you don't go. You cannot rewind. Hmm? This information you are giving to us now. Kofi <laughs> very useful. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing you are telling us now, oh, people prevailed. And of course, yeah, a lot of people prevailed. A lot of people said the election should be cancelled because... The irregularities, you know, the switch up and all the nyama nyama they are doing in broad daylight was too obvious, you understand? And it is not, it was too obvious for, for you to say people should just, you know, continue. People said, oh, let there be a rerun. So, yeah, all those things will know them. The thing now here is they're telling people that MPC now just to give moral support. <laughs> and as they call them, National Peace Committee. Huh? All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.